Hello and welcome to Iridium Rock and Metal Reviews. And today I'm going to review a new album. You know what the best thing about doing this channel is, apart from I've interviewed a couple of people that I really look up to uh, in the music industry, but the next best thing is finding new music. And that's what I've done with this new album by an artist called Good Hugh. So the artist himself is called John Goodhue. So he's named the project Goodhue. I believe he does all, every instrument on this album. Um, comes out of America, Boston based. This is written, recorded and produced by John Goodhue. Um, two years in the writing. And he's got a few, this guy, you know, he's got a few connections um, to POD, massive Christian band in America. He's open for POD and Puddle of Mud as well. I believe he, he had some music also produced by one of the members of POD. So, you know, he's got some good connections there. But, you know, there's a good chance you might not have heard of this artist. So, this album, man, it, it, it is absolutely fantastic. So, it's called In the Ashes. And what it is, is eight tracks. So, it doesn't overstay its welcome. Probably lasts about 35, 40 minutes, which is just perfect, in my opinion, for an album these days. Um, let's talk about the production first before I get into the tracks themselves, because, you, as you know, it's one of the first things I look for when I'm reviewing albums and listening to new music. First thing you notice about the production is the bass. So it's really bass heavy, which I love. The guitars and the drums and the vocals are all up there. Um, but it's really thumping. A brilliant job he's done on this production. Um, if you want to know what sort of bands this guy is influenced by, so or what the music actually sounds like, a little bit of Alice in Chains, I'd say, Shine Down, a little bit of Metallica, a bit of POD. But the biggest influence I can hear on here is Alter Bridge, one of my favourite bands. Um, around at the moment and what a compliment that is there's I can hear Auto Bridge through this album you know more times sometimes more than other tracks but definitely the biggest influence I think on Good You um, so musically I mean I, I believe he does everything on this album and he does it absolutely fantastically so you've got Drums and the bass, you know, that rhythm section is just spot on for this album. And it, like I said, it's high up in the mix and it's one at the forefront. It's absolutely brilliant. Guitaring is fantastic. And what he does with the guitaring on this album is something else that I love. He's stuck to the melody of the song rather than go off on a, on a tangent and take you out of the actual feeling of the song. The guitaring, and it's, you haven't got a guitar solo every song. Most of the time there are, but when he does a guitar solo, it's really, like I said, it captures the melody of the song. It fits the song perfectly. It's what I love. I love a, a solo that's got a melody within itself rather than going off on one, you know, and um, like a guitar hero type thing. It just fits the melody perfectly. Very melodic, this album. Um, modern, but melodic at the same time. And obviously, a lot of modern music now has got, you know, um, extreme vocals or growling vocals. This isn't. He's totally sings clean. He's got a great, great voice. And there's a lot of um, harmonising going on on this album. Comes in and out. Fits it perfectly. Absolutely brilliant. Sometimes when you don't get guitar solos, you get breakdowns instead, like heavy riffing uh, or... It might go into quiet little um, choruses near like where a solo usually would be, then build back into the rest of the song. But where the guitar solos are not in the songs, you know, is a really good choice. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. But where they're, they're not, you don't miss them at all when there's not one. Put it that way. Um, yeah, I can't honestly can't before going into each track. I can't say anything bad about this album. I've got some tracks that I absolutely love, though. And we're obviously, we're going to talk about every one. We're going to go from track one to track eight. And you'll get to hear a couple of these songs as well. 
and I'm sure when you hear it, you know, you're going to be straight downloading this album from Spotify or whatever you do. Um, not sure if this album is available in stores on a record or CD, but mine's I got mine through Spotify and I know it's available across all those streaming services. Honestly, pick this up. It's well worth getting. Now we're going to run for each track. So, kicking off the album, Running For My Life, the perfect opener for the album. This, I, I did say that it feels heavily influenced by Autobridge to me. Nothing wrong with that. You know, every artist is influenced by other artists. You know, that's just a state, the matter of fact. But this reminds me more, this, this song reminds me more of the Tremonti solo stuff. Not the, um, the Tremonti's got a lot of heavier side to the solo stuff and he's got a more melodic side. This reminds me of the more melodic Tremonti stuff, this opening track. Soaring chorus on this with great backing vocals, I think supplied by John Goodhue as well. Crushing riffs, but always melodic. Plenty of sort of Zach Wilde sort of screeching guitar bits going on on this. There's a crushing breakdown instead of a solo on this. I said that sometimes there's not solos, but about the three minute mark, there's a crushing breakdown and it goes back into the song. A great opener to start this album off. Track two is called Here in the Dark. This, I believe, is the single. Very catchy, very catchy. More melodic than the first track, but the first track was a bit more heavy, but this one's melodic, but still heavy at the same time. Sort of picky guitar parts in the verses going along with the vocals. Another chorus that soars, auto bridge style. Uh, great layered harmony vocals. And it's got a little nice melodic short solo here. Doesn't overstay its welcome. Just a little little, little metallic little uh, solo. Absolutely fitting for the song. Absolutely love it. Next is Thorns. Um, the vocals in verses are like, you know, going over a real heavy bass. You can really hear the bass in this song. Um, this is a really heavy song, but still really melodic. Every song here never forgets the melodic side. And... This song really is driven by the bass, this one. It's, an, it's a great song, best forms. Next is All Over Now. Starts with an almost doomy, crushing riff. This is more of an up-tempo song once it gets going. I love the verses on this song. This is the best bit for me on this. Although this is a heavy song, it's quite uplifting at the same time because it's got like a melody running through the whole song. Great song, All Over Now. Next is a song I'm going to play you a little bit of. It's called Give Me Strength. So this is this is brilliant. It's a little bit of a break from the heaviness that you've had so far. It's like a clean guitar going through the verses. Almost, whether I'm imagining it or not, there's a slight southern rock feel to this song. Another great uplifting song. And this one's called Grant Me Strength. Have a little listen.
next track we have is the title track, In the Ashes. So this is another Tremonti type style song, heavy or heavy altar bridge uh, riffing going on on this. Lovely layered vocals, uh, really brings the depth to the song. The backing vocals are great all through this album. There's heavy parts in and out, but still keeping the melody throughout, you know, this whole song. The next track for me is the standout track, and that's Don't Ever Leave Me. So this is like a six and a half minute, like epic sort of ballad. As my mate Mark Clower would say, this is a ballad with teeth. This really is. So it's got heavy parts. Starts off with a lovely little piano part. Uh, then a, like an acoustic guitar or a clean guitar running through most of this song. But heavy guitar in it as well. Over the acoustic guitar as well. A real haunting, like, atmospheric feel to this song. For some reason, this song also reminds me of Queensryche. Especially within the verses. And that's a good... I mean, Queensryche are one of my favourite bands. Now, I'm not exaggerating. This, If Alter Bridge wrote this song, fans would be doing their bollocks. They would love this song. This would be a classic Alter Bridge song. It's something I'm sure they'd be proud to write. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not over-exaggerating. This is an absolutely... It stands out so much, this song, for me. Although all the album's good, this is this song. This is the song of the album. I think this this has got a solo in it with so much feeling. I said before that the solos fit so well with the with the song itself. Never takes you out of the groove. It's such an emotional solo. This on this song, it is brilliant. And this ends with a bit of a piano going out as well, like it did. It, it ends as it starts. Little piano starts it. Piano ends it. Check out this song, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to play a bit for you now. This is Don't Ever Leave Me. And before you know it, track eight, Hollow. So another good track. Just the, 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 There's not a weak track on this album. Obviously, I've got some tracks that I prefer than others. But this is another good track. It's another sort of slower pace sort of song. Great bass line running through it. Another solo that follows the melody of the song. It does all the way through this album. Nothing too extravagant, but just fitting perfectly with the song. Loads of emotion again on this one. Perfect closer for the album. Absolutely brilliant. Honestly, really re recommend this album. This is great. If you've got Spotify, download it now. Obviously, you pay for that monthly, so you're not going to lose anything. Have a listen to this. I hope that playing parts of the song 
has given you a really good idea of what this guy can do. Can't recommend this enough. An outstanding release. Absolutely brilliant. Recommend it to anyone, especially the people who watch this channel who like melody in their music. It's got a bit of a modern feel as well, but nothing, you know, we're not talking new metal or anything like that. It keeps melody all the way through this album. This guy's got a big future, a big future, honestly. Absolutely love it. Recommend it completely. Highly recommend it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please press the red button, bottom right hand corner.